Hey Scorpios, let's go ahead and go into your reading for mid-August. Now, the first thing that is standing out to me is we have this base card speaking of a secret admirer. So there is someone around who is admiring you, right? The secret admirer. You may not know exactly who this person is. Ooh, but I feel like you are going to know. You are going to find out most likely. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into this. So in your love life, you've been trying to bring balance to your love life, right? You may have been experiencing some confusion in your love life, but it looks like you're holding on to faith right? You're holding on to something. You're holding on to faith. You're holding on to being lucky in love, okay? You're holding on to having new opportunities in love. Now, you're trying to bring balance to your love life, or you're trying to bring balance to a particular situation. And it looks like there is a past life connection that is around you. Now, this can be someone who maybe you know who this person is, Okay, but I'm feeling like for most of you, you don't know who this person is. And this is somebody who you've known from a past life. So this is going to be a very important relationship coming into your life because it's coming into your life to help you learn, grow, and evolve. So you're going to recognize this person by the feeling of familiarity when you come into contact. So look out for this person, okay? And it looks like you're going to be spending time with this secret admirer. Okay, so the secret admirer is coming into your life. You're going to be spending some time with this secret admirer. And then in the future, there's going to be passion. There's going to be a lot of passion in this connection. Okay, once you know who this person is, I feel like this person um, is going to bring you a lot of insight. You know, you're going to acquire a lot of illumination. You're going to become illuminated about your love life, about relationships as a result of this passionate romance. Okay. So I can see here, let's go down to the Lenormand here. I can see here that through text messages, through, um, an app, through some kind of messaging, Something's going to be revealed to you. Something is definitely going to be revealed to you. Something that you don't know. So again, this could be this secret admirer. Okay, something that is unknown to you is going to be revealed and it's going to be something very, very positive. So look out for that in a message. Now, it looks like in the past, there's been a lot of difficult feelings. We have grief and adversity, difficult feelings about feeling comfortable in love, about having stability and security in love. This can even be relating to your family life, your home life. This can be related to your actual home, okay? There has been some challenges around the home, around the family, around maybe if you're living with someone, okay? But I do see here with this broom card that there's going to be newness coming to this situation, bringing about a new attitude, bringing about a more positive attitude with this broom card, okay? You could be cleaning house, getting rid of things that no longer work for you. And that can be literally or metaphorically. Okay. So it also looks like changes coming to your love life, major changes coming to your love life as a result of this secret admirer. So Scorpio, there's also going to be spiritual development, enlightenment, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So that's really beautiful as well, okay? There's spiritual enlightenment coming to you, or perhaps you've already had the spiritual enlightenment, and this is helping you in this situation with this person. And know that honor and respect is coming to you with this crown card. So there's going to be some reconciliation coming up here. So again, this can be somebody you've already known, or this can be somebody new that you're reconciling from with from a past life, okay? This can be somebody that you already know, again, or reconciling with someone that you've known previously in other lives. So know that this situation here that's happening is going to require careful handling. Be careful in this situation, okay? But overall, this looks very wonderful, okay? You have the secret admirer, and this is going to be something that's going to be fun for you, especially if you have been single or having challenges in your love life for a while, okay? So that's good. Now, let's go ahead 
and look into some practical advice for you, Scorpio, on what you could do to bring about the best outcome in your love life for this month. Okay, I had to grab my pendulum. Excuse me, you guys. Okay, so we have here relationship solutions. So this is for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Scorpio Sun Moon Rising, mid-August. What are the solutions for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising? Okay, check your willingness level, how willing you are to communicate, to commit, to put your time, effort, energy, and attention into a relationship, into a connection, or you need to check this person who's coming into your life, their willingness level to communicate, to commit, to put their time, effort, energy, and attention into a relationship. And what I just heard in my inner ear is make sure you are not overly putting your time into this situation or overly contributing to this situation um, not committing too quickly, you know, not moving too quickly in this situation or putting too much of yourself into this situation too quickly. All right. You don't want to do that too quickly because you really want to focus on yourself. Now, this is also a good time to explore how to become a better lover. So this is going to give you the opportunity to explore how to be a better lover. So that is wonderful. That is something fun to explore. Alrighty, let's see what else we got, Scorpios. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. There we go. Eliminate codependence. Take care of yourself first. So some of you may be codependent in your relationships, and some of you know that, some of you don't. Okay, I actually just did the Libra reading and the same thing came out. So some of you know about your codependency, some of you don't. If you have a sun, moon, rising, or if you're dealing with the Libra, you could check out that reading too. But you know, overall, the readings are actually pretty different. So never mind, you don't have to. But if you do have another sign in that or you're dealing with one, you can. But actually, the readings are pretty different. So this is a good time to eliminate codependency. So you may be aware of codependency. You may not be aware. And if you're not aware of how you could be codependent, this is an excellent time to research, to look up codependency. This is what I highly recommend. Look up codependency in relationships so you can know how your traits can reflect codependency. Okay, so you could do something to heal those traits because you don't want to bring codependency into your relationships because that can negatively affect your relationships. And even if you haven't been in a relationship for a long time, because some of you may not have been in a relationship for a while, even if you haven't been in a relationship for a while, even if you've been single, this doesn't mean that you don't have codependent traits. Okay, because it can be common, you know, some people may think, oh, I haven't been um, in a relationship, so I'm not codependent because I haven't been in a relationship, but you may still have codependent traits. Okay, so it may be very useful for you to learn about these codependent traits so you don't allow them to negatively affect your relationships moving forward. Okay, so this is what I have for you, my lovely Scorpios. Thumbs up and like this reading. Thumbs up and like this reading, okay? Comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. There are also other ways to get in contact with me through the description box below. You can also book a reading with me through Wizio as well. That link is in the description box below. And while you're there, also make sure to enter this month's love reading drawing, okay? So you can win a love reading. I am sending you so much love and so much light. And I can't wait to see you here soon, my Scorpio friends. Bye. There's something about you so attractive.